Welcome all in practical session. Today we are going to see a determination of nitrous frequency of nitrogen gas using LSD and Weber. This experiment experimental all outcomes are identify different components and the working of it, and second one a determination of the natural frequency. Coming to the experimental setup, it consists of the apparatus like accelerometer, vibration analyzer. Impact hammer. In this case, in our experiment, we have not used impact hammer because a use of impact hammer in this experiment is just to dis disturb the system. So, with the help of simple finger, we had disturbed the system. Then, a next one, a PC or a laptop loaded with software for model analysis. And the most important step, specimen for which we are going to measure the natural frequency. In our case, the test a specimen is cantilever beam as shown in the figure. Okay, and last a power supply for the PC and vibration analyzer. Connecting cables for the impact hammer and accelerometer fasteners and spanner to fix the specimen in the fixture. Okay, so this is nothing but your experimental setup. We are going to measure the natural frequency of the cantilever beam. Since cantilever beam is the continuous system, it possesses infinite natural frequencies. But our aim is to determine first the natural frequency, that is fundamental natural frequency of the cantilever beam. And this fundamental natural frequency of the cantilever beam can be calculated with the help of simple of formula. That formula to see how conversion of the frequency of the cantilever beam. Okay, so we are making a use of accelerometer over here. An accelerometer is a device, or it can be called as a transducer, which, when attached to a vibrating structure, gives out electrical signal proportional to the acceleration. And th this signal is given to the vibration analyzer, which processes and analyzes the signal in case of the experiment. The signal coming from the accelerometer fitted to the cantilever is analyzed with respect to the one received from the impact hammer in order to find the natural frequencies of the cantilever beam. Now we will see what is the function of vibration analyzer. Vibration analyzer is an electronic device that pro processes and analyzes the signal received from the transducer or accelerometer used in vibration measurement like impact hammer, accelerometer, digital tachometer, etc. In our case, it is accelerometer. It has number of channels. In our college, we had eight channel FFT analyzer. Okay, but for our experiment, we are making a use of only one channel. Only one channel is sufficient to determine the actual frequency of the cantilever beam. That is, it can receive a number of electrical signals simultaneously. The vibration analyzer has very sophisticated electron circuits and works together with a computer or laptop. A fast fourier transform, that is FFT, is an algorithm frequently used for analysis of the electrical signal which provides frequency components and their corresponding amplitude present in the signal. Next one is the laptop loaded with the software for model analysis. In addition to software used algorithm, the vibration analyzer softwares are available nowadays devoted exclusively to the model analysis. Such softwares facilitates inputting data to the computer related to the geometry of the structure, location of the fixing of the accelerometer on the structure as well as points of heating of the impact hammer, their directions and so on. Also, there are facilities to select a type of analysis required, ranges of various parameters of interest and so on. Such software essentially processes the signals received from the impact hammer and the accelerometer carrying out their FFTs finding FRF obtaining mode indicator functions etc. Okay so this was just a bit 
just to give just to give you an idea that you can use the different um, uh, different parameters used while determining natural frequency of the cantilever beam okay so our cantilever beam is like this at one end it is fixed okay and this is nothing but your free end now we need to fix the accelerometer over this test specimen i can put this accelerometer over here over here over here over here or over this point okay anywhere i can use the accelerometer but i will put the accelerometer over here wherever i will get a maximum deformation this is nothing but your free end right so here most probably i will get the maximum deformation so instead of putting accelerometer over this portion i will put it over here so same thing is shown in this schematic diagram okay accelerometer we had put at the free end okay and whatever signals will be captured by accelerometer will be sent to the data acquisition system that is fft analyzer in our cops in our college we are making use of davis soft fft analyzer it is eight channel fft analyzer and whatever input data received by this data acquisition system that will be given to the pc or laptop for the analysis part okay now we need to determine the natural frequency of the cantilever beam with the help of fft analyzer at the same time we will determine the natural frequency of the cantilever beam with the help of formula okay so this is nothing but a cross section with b and dimensions b and d now how to determine natural frequency of the cantilever beam the fundamental natural frequency of the cantilever beam can be calculated with the help of formula 1.875 square into square root of e r divided by rho a l raised to 4 where e is nothing but a modulus of elasticity i is nothing but a area moment of inertia rho is nothing but a material density a is nothing but a cross section area and l is nothing but the length of the beam so modulus of elasticity material property is nothing but 200 gpa density of the material is 7850 kg per meter cube coming towards the dimension cross sections b is nothing but 0.03 meter this value you have to measure of the actual specimen d is nothing but 0.01 meter or you can call this as a height and l that is the length of the cantilever beam is nothing but 0.29 meter so with this we can easily determine a value of r and a i is nothing but area moment of inertia and it is calculated with the help of formula bd cube by 12 a is nothing but area so it is nothing but b into d now we will come to the formula natural frequency omega n is equal to 1.875 square into square root of ei upon rho a l raised to 4 right now after putting all the values we will get omega n is equal to 616.74 radian per second but we are finding natural frequency in terms of hertz so dividing this particular value by 2 pi we will get natural frequency that is fn in terms of hertz and it is 98.19 hertz so with the help of analytical formulas we got a natural frequency as 98.19 hertz now same natural frequency we will find with the help of fft analyzer it should in line with this value okay with 10 percent of change so we will see in the next part how to determine natural frequency of cantilever beam with the help of fft analyzer Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to measure natural frequency of the cantilever beam with the help of FFT analyzer. So this is nothing but your experimental setup. This is your computer. It is a data acquisition system. And whatever FFT analyzer we are seeing is this one. This is 8 channel FFT analyzer. But for our experiment, we are making the use of only one, one channel. So and uh, here there are total 8 channels for the uh, FFT analyzer and this FFT analyzer is of the company called Davisoft okay and accelerometer used to measure the signal is this one okay now working of FFT analyzer and accelerometer is already covered in the um, uh, your in your syllabus. 
now we will start the procedure how to measure the measure the natural frequency okay so we will open the software called davisoft this is nothing but a software davisoft x2 so i will double click on this so one window will open okay so under this window we need to set uh, we need to uh, do the channel setup okay so here it is showing eight channels right from ai1 to ai8 okay but we had connected our accelerometer with this first channel ai1 okay so i will set up for this ai1 channel only so under this i will go to the setup option i will double click on it okay so we need to give the sensitivity over here acceleration meter per second square and that value is nothing but 102.8 so this sensitivity value is given by the manufacturer that value we have to incorporate and we need to say okay okay so channel setup we had done now we need to measure the natural frequency so we need to go at major okay so after going to major we need to design the experiment okay other part i will delete okay so for in order to measure the natural frequency i need to take a recorder okay so i will click on a recorder i will set the window and afterwards i will make a use of fft okay so i had selected fft now what fft does in single line it converts time domain graph into frequency domain okay that means acceleration versus time graph will be converted into acceleration versus frequency that will give you a natural frequency of the instrument or in our case it is cantilever beam now we had created the design afterwards we need to measure the natural frequency so i will click on measure and i will go to store part okay here it will ask for the directory okay and name so by default directory is this d davis of and data so i will give this experiment name as test 1 2 3 4 5 6 58 okay so this is just a name of this experiment i will say okay once i will say okay it will start recording the data now while recording the data or while recording the natural frequency what we have to do is we need to just disturb the system in order to measure the natural frequency as per the principle okay so now i will say okay once i say okay it will start a recording okay so i will just disturb the system like this and i will say pause or stop now we need to do the analysis part now data we had stored and that data we have to analyze so i will double click over here and here wherever we are getting the smile so here we have to check the first peak okay so first peak where we are getting at first peak our natural frequency it is showing 97.656 hertz okay so by fft analyzer we got the natural frequency of the given cantilever beam is 97.656 hertz so same natural frequency we should get with the help of analytical solution okay so that analytical solution we will see